My name is Tanya Davis, and I'm a medical marijuana patient in the state of Ohio. It's an illegal state. I suffer from a lot of conditions. I have uh, a crippling terminal disease called pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. In layman's terms, it means my thyroid and my parathyroid work, but my body doesn't know it. So I just pee out any nutrients, vitamins, and stuff that you need to survive. I also have inflamed bowel disease with adhesions wrapped around my bowel. Uh, it's in the same category as Crohn's disease. I have crippling arthritis. I have uh, a diseased esophagus, domestic violence induced scoliosis. I was beaten so badly I had permanent spinal damage. Uh, I have uh, well, the crippling arthritis. A um, couple weeks ago, I just uh, was hospitalized and released from the hospital 24 hours later. I was told that I have uh, massive calcium deposits on my brain. My brain is covered with calcium and it's starting to cause damage because your brain controls everything. I've been using medical marijuana for my laundry list of symptoms. This uh, last uh, episode with two weeks ago me being hospitalized has really like been a sock in my stomach um, because medical marijuana could literally protect what brain I've got left. There are so many ways that you can utilize it. You don't have to smoke a joint. You can make foods with it. And, and for pain, I honestly think that that works better for me anyway. My health conditions, no one can dispute. I deal with a lot of pain a lot of pain issues on a daily basis. I can eat this half a cookie. I don't even have to eat a whole cookie. And, and it'll just make my quality of life so much better. Make it tolerable. Now, most people still could not walk a mile in my shoes, even with a half a cookie, because I'm still dealing with pain with all the different problems that I've got. You know what gets me is I don't have a criminal record, but I eat this, I'm a criminal. Or I, I decide to uh, smoke a joint, I'm a criminal. And there's nothing worse than to try to help myself by the advice of my own doctors. Now our doctors are smart enough to know and be licensed in my state. They should be smart enough to determine if cannabis is, is the right medicine for me. It's safer than the duragesic morphine patches and the oxycodons that made me violently ill. Who wants to have to throw up for 20 minutes before you start feeling pain relief? Whatever. When I can just eat this and, and I can live and, and live a decent quality of life. But there's nothing worse than trying to deal with all these medical problems that I've got going on and also be afraid that law enforcement's gonna think I might possess something or think I'm doing something bad and gonna kick in my door, maybe kill my little dogs, you know, scare me to death, accidentally shoot me. There's nothing worse than feeling that.